Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Please subscribe below if you have not already and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of video. So, I am going to go over my third quarter products that I liked for the last quarter. It's a little off because I forgot to film my second quarter and I filmed it late. So I added the products up until then, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna carry on from um, the last products, the products that I mentioned on my second quarter from there until now, if that makes sense. So here we go, and in no particular order, um, let's get on with it. And honestly, I guess because it wasn't that many as it usually is, I think I'm actually including all of my products. Okay, so um, yeah, it looks like, like all the products are in here and I'm just gonna pretty much do a quick review because um, I, I really did like all of them. There might be little like doubts on some of them, but for the most part, I did like pretty much all of them. So let's just get into it. There's no order here. I'm just gonna grab and go. So, uh, Loma Curvy Cream, okay? I tried this, I did a review on it, and I really love the results of this. My only thing, the only downfall I have with it is it took me, a, it was crunching. I had to like really crunch out the uh, product as I was drying it. You know, once I dried it, set, and it set harder than I prefer, which means I just have to crunch out a lot, and I just hate crunching out my hair. Um, but I will say, out of some products that I end up crunching, I usually don't like the results anyway, but this is the opposite. I like the results once I did crunch it out, like better than usual. So is it worth crunching? For this product, I would say it is. It was a nice product. Definitely will be using it. Again, if you really are just like, I refuse to crunch, then you're not going to like this product, but the result is worth it. So yeah, I liked it. Grabbing the next one. Um, I just did this one, was this my last video? I think it was the Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. As usual, it's like all the other Miss Jessie's products. Really love them, really did. Zero crunch, popping curls. Yeah, it really did. It gave me really nice um, curls and I tried it um, a couple of days. I did a two day review. I, sometimes I like to do that um, and loved it and this for all of you who do care has no mineral no paraffin no artificial colors no animal ingredients no petroleum no sulfates no phthalates no animal testing of course i love to hear no animal testing no animal ingredients um again i just mentioned the no sulfates etc parabens because i don't really follow curly girl method if i like a product and it has it in it i'm gonna use it so there <laughs> okay this is the antrac is curl la la uh defining curl custard I I did like this product, um, not as much as the Aunt Jackie's Leave-In Conditioner. That's like my one of my favorite products ever. Um, it's at the top there. This was good. The only thing it I felt like my hair was very dry at the end of the day. Yeah, and that's the only thing. Like I already have very naturally dry hair, so I don't like to use products if they're going to make my hair even more dry. That's why I kind of stay away from gels. But um, it made me feel a little dry not as moisturized but the curls were nice so I wouldn't use it every day you know what I'm saying like because it's drying but I would I'm definitely using it. I've already used it I've been using it you could see I've been using it um, yeah just not like every day I don't want to dry my hair out too much so that's that product okay the Redken Curvaceous um, Full Swirl the one with the pretty swirls I really did like this. I'm surprised I haven't used it more, but I think I realize I'm, I always keep, if I really like a product, I'll keep it to the side, um, but then I forget about it. But yeah, I really do remember really liking the Sculpt and Shine Cream Serum. So this is serum and cream in here. So it's not like gel and cream, it's serum and cream, which is probably why I liked it. So yeah, this really gave me, um, Redken products are really good. I really like them. This is a good one. And since we're on Redken, let's just go right in. This um, is Curvaceous Spiral Lux. So I liked it. It was good, but I do have some um, negative things. This as well also made my hair feel pretty dry, which again, I don't like that. Um, and there was some crunching going on. It was a bit crunchy and it was drying, but it did give me nice curls. So I, that's why I'm including it in today's video because I just feel like it's a product that's not bad. 
there are products that I usually won't even include in these third, in the quarterly reviews because I'm like, no, didn't like them, whatever. But this time around, I think everything made it. Just like it's a matter of, it's good, but you know? So that's how I feel about this one. My hair came out good, but there are other products that don't give me stiffness, don't dry my hair out, that I would prefer to use instead. But again, working from home, and I just, I'm using up all these products that I like but don't love, which is a good thing. So, hmm. okay, let's see if I can say this right. Okay, Mirta de Paralis. This is Curl Defining Cream. I love my curls, Rizzo. I really like this. I actually have it in my hair today along with a little bit of mixed chicks. I don't like to use two different products, more than one product, I don't like to do that. I like to just go in with one product, usually that's the way I just roll. And sometimes if I'm going out or I have something to do, which is today, I'll maybe dabble in a couple of different ones because I really want to make sure my hair stays. Um, I think my hair came out good today. Yeah, so I like this. This I really did like though. I like this product a lot. Um, it, it made my hair full and fluffy, which I, I did. I really like that for wavy to curly hair. And this is also paraben free. Yeah coconut oil, shea butter, good product. I did a video on the Briogeo Rosarco Milk. Rosarco? Um, this is a re reparative leave-in conditioning spray. This gave me more like, not like so much of a stiffer, locked-in, defined hold, but more of like a messier look, but a neat messier look, if that makes any sense. If you have curly hair, you might know what I'm talking about. Like it, it's, it wasn't frizzy, but it was like kind of messy. There is a difference, if you can believe it. Um, but I felt like this didn't give me enough of a hold throughout the day. That was my only thing. And I love the Briogeo. Oh, what is the other one? This it product uh, is an avocado or something cream for curls. And I loved, loved, loved that. So yeah, this reminded me to, that I might want to buy it again, but I have so many products. Why would I do that, right? Okay, so, but I did like this. I probably wouldn't repurchase it though because I felt like I need more of a hold my hair does at least so okay the last hair product I have here is by curls uh, goddess curls botanical gel um, I did like this the reason why I want to try it out is because I absolutely love their blueberry bliss jelly I love that product so I thought I wanted to try some products from the same brands that I like this was good I liked it I didn't like it as much as the jelly just gonna put it out there but this was good I did like it um, no sulfate silicones parabens no artificial oils colors or fragrances so a lot of good stuff in here or a lot of good no I shouldn't say a lot of good stuff in here which is true but no bad stuff is in here so yeah this is um this was really good I did like this. That's it with the hair products. And I only did one makeup product um, review this uh, quarter, and that was the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. I Let's just start, I guess, the primer. I do use the primer. I really like the primer. I'm not a primer person. I'm really not. But this gives me a slight little glow, and I figure out oh, it's doing whatever primer is supposed to do, which I'm still trying to figure out myself. Um, so I do use this. Uh, here and there, I do. The foundation matched my skin perfectly. It's not full, full coverage, so if you want full, full coverage, you might not love it, but it's good for a natural look, which is what I like. Um, but now that summer's over, I feel like, although I did self I do self tan, uh, whenever I feel like I feel like pale, and it just lifts my spirits, I don't know what it is. I feel like I've been out in the sun, maybe, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I like this. So I like sheer coverage more in the summer. I don't even wear foundation in the summer at all, but now that fall and winter's here, I'll be pulling those out again. And this is a very dirty sponge <laughs> from Rare Beauty, which, because I, I didn't clean it from the last time, so I apologize. I should have cleaned it. But honestly, I don't, I haven't been using it as often. I used it a lot, like the weeks that I had gotten the product after because I want to see if I like it and I, I kind of found myself going back I don't hate it I don't hate it it's a sponge I'll, I'll probably still use it every now and then but um, I think I like the other kind of sponges better like more like the beauty blender type uh, billions I got billion what is the name of that one brand I got from my boxy charm I like that one like those types of sponges a little more 
tighter. This is more like um, really spongy. You know, like it's it's much more squeezable. So I don't hate it, but it was good. The felt tip eyeliner, I absolutely love. I actually, we went to Sephora. I went to Sephora with my girls uh, last weekend and she, my one daughter wanted a felt tip and I told her to buy this. I'm, I love Sephora felt tip, but this, I loved it. So she likes it um, a lot too. So yeah, this is a really great, for precision, really good. And it stayed on, it didn't fall, like it didn't get flake off or anything like, like some felt tips do. So I did like that. I think I'm done, I am done. Well, this is a short video, folks. So that's it, this is just my third quarter and my next quarterly review will be end of year. So my next quarterly review will be the products I use from from tomorrow on, put it that way, for the, the products that I review. So yeah, so I guess that's it, guys. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe and uh, till next time have a great day see you then bye